from the home of HM Sports. It's the HM Lions Report, and I'm Jack Dolgen. With St. Patty's Day right around the corner, that means one, we're rocking the classic green screen tie, and two, we're wrapping up the end of the horse band winter sports season. We start off with the horse band swimming team as they go and compete in the Ivy League Championship. Next, we check out the horse band gymnastics team. And yes, not only do we have such a team, but I promise you, they're absolutely fantastic, and you might even enjoy watching them too. And lastly, we finish off with the horse man wrestling team. They not only excel in the Ivy League Championship, but they even sent four wrestlers to the Nationals, and one person from Boris Man even looked to become an All-American. He had one match to go and find out whether he could do it. Don't move a muscle, don't get out of that seat, don't go anywhere, because it's all coming your way right about... Well, that's certainly one way to kick off the 2013 Ivy League Swim Championships. We've got the pep talks, the record books, the wave, and wait, is that who I think it is? Oh my god, it's Michael Jordan. No, but like, that's actually the real name of one of the horse band swim coaches. And uh, let's start off with the relays. The thing is, the relays counted significantly more than the individual races. And while Horace Mann obviously wanted to get off to a great start, it was simply unable to because the relay team struggled. You can see dead ahead that's a girls relay team trailing the rest of the pack. They would finish in 6th place out of 7 teams. The good news for the boys is they had 2 teams placed in the top 7 spots. The not so great news is they finished in 5th place and 7th place respectively. So if the Sea Lions were going to give these other teams a serious run for their money, they were going to need to make a big comeback, and it all came down to the individual races. And there we go. We start off with Henry Water. He was leading his heat, and he would win in dramatic fashion, followed closely by fellow Sea Lion Alex Fine. Next, we check in with the best friends Carly Eamon and Lizzie Rosenblatt, and it seemed like Carly's embrace before Lizzie's race would pay off because Lizzie would finish in third place, taking home the bronze, and she was so happy, she even showed off those fine diplomatic skills. In long-distance races, there's something called counters. Teammates will count the number of laps their teammates have swam. The question is, is there an actual art involved in the process? I conducted the following investigation. Well, you keep track of what times he's going on, and you pump it to tell him to go faster. First off, you got to be able to keep track for him, because you got to be able to just focus on sprinting. You three? Yeah, three. So, so does your whole, does your horse man uh, math curriculum leave uh, you able to do such things? You know, I'm lucky enough to be in BC Calc right. with Mr. Francis nowadays. So um, are you able to count to 20? Uh, not every time, but the, that's why I got the counter here. Oh. Is there, you know, uh, Jack is... This being my second time doing this on my horse man career, I can honestly say that I have improved at least 100%. So you could say that you're almost as important as the swimmer himself. Oh, much more. Much more. Back to the 200 meter butterfly. There's good, and then there's this. Check out Stephanie Tilniak. There's a reason the freshman's on our highlight reel every time. She absolutely made carnage of the competition. She won the Ivy League gold medal and beat the next person by almost a whopping five seconds. And hey, she did it all with a smile on her face in the process. Congratulations, Stephanie. And lastly, we check in on senior Ryan Bliss finishing up the breaststroke. You can see he gets the time he wants, and his reaction is simply priceless. Ryan and Stephanie would help Horace Man seal second place in the Ivies. Congratulations, swim team, on a terrific season. Got chalk? No, that's not LeBron James. That's Victoria McCaba and the Horace Man Gymnastics team. We've got four events. The Vault the uneven bars, the balance beam, and the floor. But we start off on the vault, and it's Horace Mann's Maya Landsberg. She pops, locks, and she nails it. Absolutely sensational. Next up, it's the senior Victoria McCaba doing her thing. Perfect landing. She finished in first place, not only for that event, but uh, pretty much every single one. She went on to the next event with the same level of success, going up and down, up and around, Takes it back up, followed by her senior counterpart, Samantha Zola. Backwards flip, perfect landing. Next event, it's the third one. We've got the balance room. Check out Jessica Heller almost losing her balance, but she somehow maintains it. Follows that 
with a cartwheel on such a narrow surface. It's unbelievable. And now check out, it's Victoria McCabe just showing off for the camera. There's a backflip, absolutely incredible. Anyways, back to Maya Landsberg doing the backflips. She did a total of one, two, three, four, five, six moves and capped it all off with a nice swan dance, if that's even a term. After she went, Maya was visibly exhausted, not only collapsing in front of her teammates, but she stayed down there for quite a while. Luckily, though, she had the help of friend and teammate Jessica Heller by her side. Horseman went on to win and watched its captain, Victoria McCabe, take home first prize. Congratulations, girls, on another fantastic season. Last up, it's Horseman Wrestling in the Ivy League Championship, and we start off with Zach Dynan in the semifinals getting the takedown. Unfortunately, we only had footage from Zach and Matt Russo, but luckily, as usual, they were on their game, and this is Matt Russo cruising to a finals appearance once again. And to the finals we go where it's Zach Dynan in action. He was looking to get the pin, and he would get it. Congratulations, Zach, on becoming an Ivy League champion, along with the likes of Matt Bach, Aaron Shine, John McGuire, Owen Elfrey, and, of course, Matt Russo. Don't get me wrong, winning first place at the Ivies is certainly an incredible feat, but uh, Matt was eyeing something even greater than that. He was eyeing an appearance not only in the state tournament, which he would win, but at the Nationals at Lehigh University. And to Lehigh University, we would go after he manhandled his last opponent at the Ivies. This is the first round of the Nationals. Does his classic trip move and takes his opponent down. One down, four to go. We go to the next round and Matt continued to share that same level of success. It's important to remember that his opponents are some of the best wrestlers in the United States. And I'm not going to say he made it look easy per se, but uh, he continued to ride to the occasion in the face of increasing adversity. Now he's just two matches away from becoming an All-American and uh, he would get the pin so uh, Matt would go and face his toughest competition yet. And uh, unfortunately for Matt, it was the end of the road. As hard as he tried, he just could not get out of that hold. Still, we want to congratulate not just Matt, but the entire Horse Band Wrestling team on having another incredible season. Like he's gonna put this in a lion's report sometime. Better, it's better.